How are we going guys? Back again for another episode of The House of Lee. This is going to be the part two of the uh, series we are running for how to get yourselves uh, into the field and to be very competitive on the lower end of the budget. Today is the second part with more of a higher end budget. So last episode was the Gen 8 in the black UMP and on today's episode going to be bringing you the purple UMP. So this one is a little bit more um, kind of up the ladder when it comes to spending. I've spent a little bit more on this one. Uh, definitely one of my favorite blasters though. Uh, it is notorious around the place. People do know this one. So I figured I'd get into this one and let you guys see exactly what's inside it. Let's get into it. First up guys, just going to take the front off, pull the hop up straight out with this one. I'm going to show you here guys what I've done with my outer barrel or my inner barrel to the outer barrel. I actually put some hot glue around there to keep this thing centralized. So if you are careful with it, when it's just about to dry, give it a twist and that way the glue will dry in place and you can actually then remove the barrel and keep the glue in place so you don't have to change it every single time you strip your plaster down. So, removing the outer barrel there, that's an aluminium outer barrel, it's a short, so it's about 20 centimeters. Moving on, one pin, and we have got second pin on the rear, long on the rear, short on the front, flip the sock to the side, ready to roll. Alright with this one here on the shell guys I've just painted it, I've put new metal rail on there, I've got a pressure pad with a torch set up as well, and I usually run that little pressure pad on my handle, so ready to roll. I um, also have a metal priming handle set up here because I used to run this one with a primer. Um, I have since um, broken the switch, so I have to fix that one. But otherwise, metal prime so you can knock that one down nicely if you want the extra skill points or cool points, <laughs> you could say. So I'll put the upper to the side. Got your lower guys. Um, running a different mag release here as well. Um, means you can quickly get to it with your finger. Crack that, pull your mag out. You do have a little leather on the side as well, so you can hold the mag, hit that as well, without going right under. Just looks cool guys, really. That's all I really uh, went for with that one. Get right into it guys with the Allen keys. So you've got your six Allen keys to remove out of the lower two piece UMP shell. Just keeping them mindful as well guys of the different sizes of these different screws. Alright, last one guys, put them to one side, holding on to your mag release, pop that cover off, ready to go there, remove your mag release with your spring, make sure it doesn't spring out. Alright, inside again you'll notice here, just running, whoop, the cover there for the switch just popped out. Just running an O-ring here guys to um, keep my wires nice and tight around the side of the motor so they're not moving around and I just do have a little zip tie here as well keeping these wires nice and tight together. So it's going to remove positive, negative, pull the rest out of the case. 
like so. There you have it guys. Singularity gearbox. Uh, Singularity, lucky with you style gearbox. Um, running one of the red chi highs. I like the red chi high. Uh, silver motor cam with red base over the black and red chi highs. I just find them to run a little bit more efficient. They don't heat up as much. Just my own personal opinion. Um, love this motor. This motor has been running since Christmas Day last year. So it's right up around that one year worth of work. It has done, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of gels and it's still running beautiful. So definitely a great buy there. Um, I am running the 100 piece, 100% uh, cylinder, uh, stainless cylinder. I uh, do have e the Oz gel, uh, barrel 7.5, 335 barrel system in this one, uh, standard Gen 8 T-piece, um, just your black style one, aluminium style um, spring retainer. Um, this one is an old wiring kit that I brought ages ago, uh, 10 amp switch, it does have the wire set up for your mag prime system, but as I explained before, the switch is broken, so disconnected that. But just go ahead and remove the bottom end, so the motor set up. As you can see here guys, running a black Fighting Bro uh, pinion gear. This pinion gear here has, yeah, again, I've spaced it. Spaced the pinion gear to suit my uh, pinion to bevel engagement. Has done, yeah, a few hundred thousand gels. It's cranking this thing, still running beautifully. Uh, otherwise you can check, um, in on the brushes as well to your comms post they're still beautiful so very happy with this setup going great all right top end of the gearbox let's strip this one apart so first thing you want to do uh, your flat blade screwdriver remove that plug spring retainer this one here i'm going to push in turn anti-clockwise and hold on so I do not want to cop this in the face. There we go. Beautiful M110, great spring. Unequal as well. Takes a little bit of that pressure off the pickup tooth on your piston. That's really all. They are great. Uh, favorite style of spring to run. Uh, spring retainer there. It's one of those old style ones. I've modified this one to make it a little bit more reliable. But yeah, great little thing. All right, let's strip the case down. All right, guys, there are four of the screws along the lower of your Lucky With You style Singularity case. They are the longer style with the um, chamfered uh, edge towards the flat head. They are those style of screw and across the top you have your other four which are shorter and they have more of your mushroom. Try not to confuse the two um, and keep them in the same positions when you put the blaster gearbox back together. Alright. Now I'm going to separate the case, so as I like to do, I'm going to push down on the gear post as I'm starting to lever the case off, push down on your anti-reverse latch, push down on your spur, push down on the sector, you heard the case crack a little bit there as she's starting to open up, I'm going to move to the front, pop that off a little bit, and that's it, we are good to go. So making sure to keep everything in the same position with your shims. Also, acknowledging the fact that your tapper plate may still be under tension. So I've just released that there. Let's 
gonna pop that spring off there. Also, take that whole top end out. There we go. All right. So what you'll see here, guys, Osgel barrel, as I said before, with your Gen 8 T-piece. Uh, moving on, we've got these cylinder head and nozzle kits in store, and they're your brass style, just the Gen 8 style, uh, with the dual O-rings inside. 100% um, stainless cylinder, SHS piston, uh, full metal rack, and I also have one of the super sealer piston heads. And I've also modified this one as well by um, making the ports a little bit larger to give me a little bit more of a seal. Um, nice little setup. Modified tappet plate return spring as well. Moving back to the case. Metal trigger here. I have adjusted the trigger just by putting a piece of plastic glued to the front. So makes it a little bit more um, sensitive when you're pulling the trigger so your shots aren't as delayed that's a great little trick you can do there for your gen 8 boxes moving on you can see the uh, advantage of the singularity case compared to your normal gen 8.5 cases with the stronger nylon it doesn't flex as easy and also you have your nut certs as well so removal and refitting of your screws is a lot nicer because they're less prone to stripping you definitely can feed the screws in off centered and cross thread them that definitely is an issue but that's user error not the uh, design flaw with the actual item that's all upon yourself so just make sure you're lining up those screws properly on re, um, refitting otherwise Gonna just rip out these gears. So that's my sector gear here. I'm only running 16 to ones in this uh, blaster right now. Um, just trialing that. I like the 13 to ones. I've gone back to the 16s for a little bit here. Um, great set of gears, SHS. Bevel as well, great condition there. They basically look brand new. They look like there's nowhere at all. You can see some some of the uh, outer casing, the black is wearing off, but that's just normal. It's expected with the teeth, especially all the stress is getting transferred through the pinion into the bevel gear, and it's going through the gear and back out through this part of the bevel onto the spur. So very much expected to have a little bit of a wear there. SHS anti-reversal latch, you get them in store as well. Great springs, very nice. I don't recommend um, building a blaster without them, especially Gen 8. Uh, once your anti-reversal latch lets go, these things spin backwards, sends the tapper plate straight back into the sector gear post, starts to mince them, minces them on the sector gear pickup as well. Not a good thing. Awesome. All right, and then we've got our spur gear. Let's pull that bad boy out as well. Very nice. Again, you can see where some of the, uh, the black has worn away. Still perfect. Um, again, that is gonna wear a little bit. Now on this side though, you'll notice that it looks almost like the base has been machined. There is a bit of an angle there. That's because it has been machined. I modified these on purpose in majority of my builds to make sure there is enough clearance uh, with your lower um, bevel um, bushing uh, just to make sure I don't get any nasty noises. So that's a little thing I do. Just make sure spins nice and freely very nice there is um issues with your shs gears and other aftermarket gears with fitting in between the case due to the tolerances of the size uh, rather than lathing the post down and whatnot that's just one thing that i do um, purely again guys that's my preference this is just showing you what i run not telling you exactly how to build 
just really showing you what parts I'm using. So yeah, but again, 16 to 1s guys, SHS, come into the shop and get yourself a set of those. Um, other than that, I run this blaster on this bad boy right here. It's my brick, my workhorse. I basically tape this one to the back of the stock. Sits in here. It loves it. Put some tape around there. Send it all day long. Uh, that battery never runs out, so she's good to go. So yeah, and that's also a 50C rated battery, 5,000 milliamp hour, and a proper 50C rating as well. There are a lot of batteries out there, like Eternities, that may say 15 to 20 to even 40, but they don't actually give you that. But again, that's the battery I run. It is a very solid battery, so it will test out your um, your gear set. It will put some uh, pressure through your box. So again, make sure you know what you're doing before you try and use one of those. Yeah, otherwise guys, that's really it. So we'll just quickly go back over everything. Nylon Singularity Gearbox Gen 8, I'm using uh, bushes, not bearings, um, shims, 16 to 1 SHS gears, aluminium Osgel barrel 7.5, uh, aluminium trigger modified with a little piece of plastic for your sensitivity enhancement, uh, nylon tappet plate, 100% cylinder, uh, what do you call it, 100% piston, so no holes or anything in there. Uh, full metal rack, modified teeth uh, for angle of engagement and pickup. Uh, yep, aluminium uh, piston head, uh, green o-ring, brass cylinder head and nozzle. You can get that from the shop. Uh, M110, aluminium spring retainer. And then, yeah, just aluminium outer barrel. Silencer, LDT hop up, aluminium rails, torch, custom paint, and that is basically everything you need, guys, to get your blaster cranking to that next level. So it's really going to get you from your base under 300 FPS, reliable. This is going to push you right up to, depending on how you set it up with your cylinder head, nozzle, and spring. It can put you right up into the 380s, 400s, depending what you're after. Um, I'm keeping this one here. It's right around the 345s, 350s. So very nice. It's still quite accurate. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's a um, part two of the uh, House of Lee getting you out onto the field and letting you see exactly what I'm using. So I hope you've learned something from this, guys. Please, again, like, subscribe. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to do, please leave your comments below. Um, yeah, we'll get back to you in another video. Thanks for tuning in.